Let's check if we are on the base book or not. Yes. Hello, everyone. Today is a Friday. Friday financial training season training section with ASEAN team. So today we are going to talk about the Canada Homes and Network and financial registrants for your self-isolation. And also we will explain to you the grid test. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, Ida and Hung, could you guys also say hello to everyone? Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Friday Financial. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Good to see you again on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, uh, we are not sure when will be our the last Friday paint shop. <laughs> but we we have every Friday, we have a new update information, which is good for all of our education partners and students. So today, I'm going to explain to you the RIT test. So all of the international students who will study one-year certificate, two-year diploma, and three-year advanced diploma, the first semester, one of the course, you have to take uh, reasoning and writing, but we are not sure your writing skill. So that's why we want you to take a big test. So all of the international students already received an email from International Center regarding our red test exam. So I'm going to share the information with you. So this is a word file. I just copy our email and pass to a word file. So as you see, you already received those email exactly the same as what I'm showing you. So the most important part here. So the retest, you can take it through online between July 27 until August 14. So all of the international students and domestic students, whenever they take an online read test, you guys have to pay $25 for taking online read test. But this time, it's free. So feel free to take a read test. And why we still recommend you to take a read test? Because it might help you to save your time during your studying first semester. So for example, if you are going to get really good mark after you finish the read test, you don't have to take a reasoner writing course. It's a three hours course. So every week you have to take a three hour or four hour based on your retest results. But if you are going to get uh, average, you will spend three hours per week for studying retest. But if you are, if your mark grade will be lower than example, like a 50%, you also have to study four hours per week for studying with a uh, reason and writing course. So it is optional. Taking a test is optional. If you are not going to take a read test, you have to expect you will spend four hours to study a reason and writing course per week. But if you will take a read test, you have a three options. Remove reason and writing course in the first semester, or studying three hours per week, or studying four hours per week. So our week test will not affect you to study post-secondary program. So a lot of students think, what if I'm not gonna get really good mark? Maybe I cannot study post-secondary program. No, it's not. That is not main purpose, you to take a big test. We just wanted to put you in different classroom. So we have a three hour classroom and we have a four hour classroom based on your writing skill. So we still recommend you to take, but if you never study professional writing skill, I suggest you to study four hours every week because it will also help you to improve your writing. And during, until you will finish your program, you will have a lot of assignments. And also in Canada, we have a specific writing format. 
So that's why you're supposed to know. If you only pass the IELTS for the English requirement, I believe you don't know the specific writing, the format that I still suggest you to study four hours per week. So anyway, you have to have a good writing skill if you have a plan to live in Canada during you are working at a company after you finish your program. Anyway, you also have to report to senior manager or steps that you must have good writing skill that I really suggest you to study four hours per week. But if you already have a good writing skill, it's up to you. You can get really good mark from the retest, then you can remove the original writing course. So this is uh, right, uh, retest information. So please, <clears throat> please check your email. And usually our email goes to your junk or spam email that I still recommend you to check your inbox junk or spam, okay? If you have not received any email, feel free to contact me or Han and Ina. And we are happy to forward those emails to you directly. Okay. And next topic, we are going to talk about the self-isolation before you will start your program. So Ina and Han will explain to you about the homestay and residence. So who wanted to go first? I go first. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Jay, would you please uh, make me the call? Hi everyone, today uh, the SN team will guide you how to uh, have a plan for the self-isolation in Canada. Uh, recently, uh, we received lots of questions regarding the self-isolation. Uh, as you know, when you arrive in Canada, you must quarantine for 14 days. So here is the checklist for you. Um, actually, you, you can choose any kind of uh, accommodation uh, when you arrive in Canada. Uh, but for those who register for our resident and homestay, uh, we have a available checklist for you as well. Um, you will need to have the confirmation of where you will be staying uh, during these 14 days. If you book the resident, uh, you will uh, need to show the booking or the homestay. Uh, you need to show the booking as well. Uh, or you can um, uh, you can uh, bring out the accommodation from your uh, private private accommodation. Just make sure you put uh, you bring out on the address, okay. And for our president, you can book the sale as a uh, lesson service for free. If you book the homestay, uh, you will be trapped around 25 per day. So totally it's cost you around 350 for 14 days quarantine. And uh, the other thing you need to uh, know that you need to have the, you need to know some delivery service like uh, grocery, uh, something you, uh, the restaurant or uh, restaurant because you can go out, uh, you just use the delivery service. So for food delivery, you can use the Uber Eats or the Dash Door. Uh, I can show you the link. OK, 
Okay, is here some necessary, for example, you can choose Uber it for your food delivery, uh, DoorDash. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, kind of food. You can choose the fast food, uh, the healthy food, uh, even the vegan one. For grocery, you can use Instacart. Yeah. For the for book the grocery online as well. Oh, okay. Sorry. Is it the close? I'm back to the cell isolation week. Um, after you had a confirmation of uh, where you'll be staying in Canada, uh, you need to remember those things, stay at your place, not go out, huh? uh, and you will not use the public transportation. Uh, Fanshaw offer you the Fanshaw care service so that you can book uh, the transportation from the airport to your accommodation via our uh, robot queue transportation. But uh, you must book the uh, transportation service at least 70 hours before you fly. And yet yeah, remember, don't hang out, don't invite any visitor or friend uh, to your accommodation, uh, accommodation during this period. And some tips for your travel plan. As you all know, the virus situation is still uh, bad at the moment uh, over the world. So when you travel, just uh, maybe you can use some glove, the plastic glove, and wear your mask and the uh, hand sanitizer. Yeah, always bring that stuff belong to you. And uh, uh, yeah, that's very important when travel at the moment. And at the page two, we also make some essential document checklist for you as well. Uh, Fensha also send all the student the travel support letter uh, for your arrival when you arrive in Canada. So make sure you bring out this letter as well. Our letter of acceptance. That's it for the checklist. And Ina, I'm going to show you some information uh, about hotel. Okay. So, hi everyone. Um, welcome back to our fan show, uh, Friday fan show question and answer. Um, so, for today, we'll be going, I, I will be discussing the accommodation options for you. Um, that you can choose from for your 14-day isolation. So previously, when you have planned your study in Canada, 14-day quarantine is not part of it. So um, it's it's an added, uh, of course, an expense for you, and also it's it's hard for you to look for uh, for accommodation at this point in time. So um, we will make things easier for you. So first thing, these are just, just some of the four um, accommodation options that you can choose from. So if you have a family member in Canada, um, whether it be in Toronto, in Hamilton, or in, um, in, other, um, in other provinces, you can stay with them during the 14-day quarantine. But please make sure that even though you are staying in their um, in their residence or in their household, please make sure to self isolate. So if they are going out, you don't have to go out with them because you are in a quarantine. So that's uh, that's one thing you can you can uh, you can stay with your family if you have families in Canada. The second one would be hotel options. So we have several hotels. Um, um, around London and also if you are in our regional campuses, there's also several hotels that you can book. So we have, um, you can directly book to um, in the in the hotel sites or you can book through a travel agent and also through third party um, third party websites that you can book and somehow earn points or 
earn some credits when you book for 14 days. So it would really depend on you, but please make sure to check the guidelines and the protocols of each and every hotel and also the cancellation policy if in case um, it might happen so that you will be assured as well before you can actually book. So that's the second one, um, hotels. If also, if you have, if you, if hotel is quite um, expensive for you, you can also opt for private accommodation. So if ever you have a landlord or contact with a landlord already for your private accommodation in London, um, you can talk with them if it's possible for you to use the first month rent that you will be paying for for your self isolation then that's good that's not you can save a money because you won't have to spend separately for 14 day quarantine there's also several um, accommodation options private residences um, available online so you can check out the facebook groups community groups of financial college um, uh, financial college students in Facebook, and also you can check out our you um, our recorded session last sa last Friday about accommodation. So that can help you um, somehow um, look for a private accommodation during your 14 day quarantine, and later on when you decide to stay there uh, as your uh, for your whole um, study in financial college. The, uh, the last one is actually the homestay. So homestay um, is for students. So you will be uh, staying with a Canadian family. So the application for this specific, for homestay, Homestay Canada is 250 Canadian dollars. And um, the minimum um, time uh, that you would stay in a Canadian uh, family with this Canadian family would be two months. So that's the normal rate. But since you're doing qu uh, quarantine with them, the 14 day quarantine, you have to pay 350 additional, which is 25 per night. So if you would like to, um, as soon as possible, start your um, your networking to build the relations and also have to give a, to get a sense of how is it like um, living with or living and also um, experiencing life in Canada, you can explore the homestay. So in our website, you can check out um, our Canada homestay. It will show you the Canada Homestay Network. So it, there will show, it will show you a guide on for students, how can you participate, what, is, what are the requirements. So um, as much as possible, you would have an idea. If you would like to explore this specific option for accommodation, then you can check out our website for more information. So far, so for the homestay, um, basically everything will be given to you by the, the family that you will be in. So, for example, the bathroom, of course, you will be, um, how you would have access to bathrooms, to internet connection, you would have your own space as well. Um, meals will also be provided, uh, but if you have any dietary restriction or any allergies, please feel free to, to send to, um, to let your, your family, um, the family that you will be with, um, with your dietary restrictions. Also, we, they, they have provision of laundry, but um, every household in Canada would have their own laundry room. But of course, you have to make sure if you have to make your laundry on your own. Uh, but if ever there's any, any, um, anything that you need to know about doing the laundry or there's a schedule and whatnot, um, please ask your, your family about this one. So, there so far those are the four options for you that you can check out for your uh, for your self isolation and if ever you have that information already finalized please make sure to jot it down to write it in the checklist that han um, discussed a while ago and you don't need to send us the checklist you can use it as reference and if ever um the border officer or the immigration would ask you about your um your self isolation plan you have it already Right. Oh, we have a question.
Okay. Uh, Sherwin? Yeah, so I think it seems like a student, I'm not sure which you take, but I expect student apply to September 2020. Yeah. Because the student has not received the credit department yeah. yet. So right now, we what we can do, but please communicate with Ina because I'm not sure what program you apply. So if you apply to my program or blended program, blended program, you must take a flight to Canada. So you have to arrive in Canada at least first week of September because you need a 14 days isolation. But if you are taking online course, you can take it in the Philippine too. But if you will not receive your study permit, all of the international students, you guys have to remember, if you will not be able to start your program since September 21st, you must to defer your intake before September 21st. And post-secondary program, one-year certificate, two-year diploma, three-year advanced diploma, four-year degree, and postgraduate programs will start September 21st. And also, we expect we will provide orientation on September 20th, and we will send you mass email to all of the international students and our educational partners. So please check your email as much as you can. So most likely, every week, we update information send it to your email and also uh, EAP student who will start your EAP program in your country or in Canada we have a different program start date post secondary I told you September 21st EAP will start September 8th okay because the EAP we have many different intake every two months so if we are going to delay our September intake start date, it will affect to November intake too. So that's why EAP student, you have to remember your online EAP course will start since September 8th, Canada time zone, not your country time zone. Okay? So please check your email. We will EAP division will send you update information when you will take a level test and program schedule too. And also you will be able to check your schedule on web advisor. So if you have not received your web advisor account information, feel free to contact us. But we cannot provide your personal information. Even we cannot check your password, but we can explain to you how you can get web advisor username and password yourself. And our IT help desk will help you to find your username and password. Uh, so many people are say, just saying hello. Yeah, hello <laughs> yeah. to all of people. Well, yes, yeah. I think um, just to give uh, just to give some um, to, to provide information to students. So if ever you don't have your visa yet for September twenty one. Uh, if you have an agent, please reach out to your agent so that they can process your um, your new study, uh, your new LOA for the new program and for the new intake. So you have to make sure that you do all the changes before the start of class, before September twenty one, so that your that all of your fees will be um, carried over to the next um, intake that you will be pursuing. So I think for Sherwin, um, I believe he already requested for January 2021. So um, and and I just checked that he uh, he got this LOA already. So please reach out to your agent um, uh, for the new LO for the copy of the new LOA. Okay. So anyone has any question? We can answer for you guys. No? So far, none. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So feel free to contact us. And also, all of the videos we post posted on our YouTube. So I'm going to share the YouTube link that you can also watch previous Friday Fanshaw and other videos again. OK? We just have. One more question. Yeah. So if my class start date is on May 3rd, how soon should I schedule my flight? May 3rd, do you mean 
She's taking next May 2021. May? Yeah, next year. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we usually provide a schedule uh, three weeks before program start date. So I expect you will receive your timetable in April, like the middle of April. And we have a more question. Where is the release date or schedule for? Okay, yeah. yeah, in August. Yeah. <laughs> you will receive your that. schedule. Yeah. So I told you three weeks before your program start date. Two, two or three weeks before program start date. So in August. It's coming soon. Don't worry. Yeah. Cross finger your visa. Yeah. <laughs> I hope all of the International Student Adventure, International Student will receive start from the approval letter and I hope you can start your program to approach your goal, your future goal in Canada. And also uh, Canada Immigration said they are going to speed up with the processing study permit. And I heard uh, some of the students got a study permit recently. So I believe you will also get study permit approval from IRC. So, all right. If you guys don't have any question, we will come back next Friday. So have a good Friday and have a good weekend with your friends, family, relatives, whoever, mm -hmm. <laughs> but keep your social distance. Okay. And we will see you next Friday. Thanks guys. Thank Bye. you guys. Bye.